Okay, I've unlocked exposure before recording, so maybe you'll get to see these better now. What they really look like. <laughs> By the way, do they want anything from me? Nope, seem to be okay. Aren't they cute? Someone spoke about something called the Geopet. I don't remember one of them. I might have had one at some point and not realised it. I tried searching for them, but it just comes up with Nat Geo Wild. And stuff to do with pets in Nat Geo Wild. I'm going to show you my striped hyena uh, you know, soon, don't worry. Um, yes, so I do have something I want to talk about in this video. Um, that is me and antihistamines and health. So, as you guys know, I've had several different types of tablets and a couple of different types of antihistamine in the past. Actually, technically three if you count the one that this nurse gave me that I was living with at the time. But they weren't prescribed to me. It was just something she had to hand and she just gave it to me because I was having problems with my allergies and stuff. My, well, my eczema in particular. It was really bad at the time. And that was because I was dead skinny nothing to do with allergies per se because I was living with her who had a like really dead clean house although her dog shed everywhere so that would help but I was only living with her for a few like a week anyway so it, it probably needs a lot more time for your skin to adjust to the new environment a lot more than a, a week or a few days probably months so if I'd have lived with her for months it might have cleared up anyway because I was out of this house that's full of mold and damp and stuff so anyway, so I've taken antihistamines in the past and they have made me sort of erratic, have anxiety, have, well, when I first start taking them, I feel super happy and energised, like my brain has woken up, you know, like my brain, and I actually thought at the time, because I turned about like 23 or something, 22, 23, I thought that Oh, I was 24, sorry. 24, 25. I thought that my brain had just sort of caught up and was finally, like, thinking like an adult and stuff like that. You know, I was, my brain finally sort of developed to its full capacity and I was now thinking properly instead of, like, being all floopy and forgetting things and having a bad memory and stuff. You know, I thought that my brain had just, you know, matured and developed perfectly. But it turns out it was just the antihistamines that I was on. They made me super happy, they made my brain function really well and whatnot. But then after a while it became very overwhelming because I felt like I had a ton to do. Like too much to do. And you know, like cooking and cleaning and stuff. And looking after my mum. But also I wanted to focus on my stuff as well and I kept getting these ideas just surging through my head and stuff. Whereas before it was like I was half dead before and I wasn't getting any ideas or whatever. But when I was on this, I was sort of super happy and had all these ideas flooding my head. And it was very overwhelming, I will admit. I stopped taking them for some reason. I don't really know why. It wasn't, like, deliberate because I thought, oh, well, you know, I'm feeling erratic and getting obsessive and getting sort of overwhelmed and I was getting angry and stuff. It's not like I thought, well, that I'll just stop taking them. I can't remember why I stopped taking them, but I did. Maybe it was that reason. I really can't remember. I'd have to consult my diaries. That's and my advice to you guys is if you're quite young at the moment start taking a journal of your life write down everything that happens to you you will thank me later and if you're if you're older like in an adult stage or even like middle aged or whatever do the journal thing you will thank me later because there'll be sometimes when you need to recall something from the past that maybe you can't remember and it, it would really be handy if you could like just look at a diary and think oh yes that's what happened at that point in time and Oh yeah, I did do that. And, oh yeah, that person t said I was a liar. And oh, it turns out I was right all along and I wasn't lying. It was them. You know, it's like, ugh. Or you can say, I definitely remember this, but here's the proof. You know. So, so yeah, I, I could consult my diary now and think, well, you know. This is the reason why I stopped taking those antihistamines. I just stopped taking them. Or, oh well, you know, I stopped taking them because it was making me erratic and, you know made me have anxiety and a bit like sort of all over the place and floopy and stuff. Although I don't really remember being floopy. I'm floopy on this medication that I'm on at the moment, which is the children's allergy syrup. Spiritinies or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I'll, I'll, I forgot to look at the box. Somebody else asked me what it was and 
I thought, well, if the box is right there, I'll just look at it, but I didn't. I got distracted. So it turns out that this one that I'm on now doesn't make me more focused or make me have a better memory. But I do feel super happy and I wouldn't say energised because it does make you feel drowsy, but I, I do feel like, like I've got all these ideas surging through my head and I feel enlightened, like, oh yeah, I know everything about everything and, you know, I, I know the, the secret of the universe and I know the reason for life and all that. Just like I did with all the other antihistamines that I had in the past, but without the energy and without the, um, you know... I still kind of feel a bit anxiety and stuff, but... Oh, I'm just picking out my eyebrows because they're irritating me. I'm going to wish on this one, okay? I didn't wish on the other two. Um, what do I really want? There we go. I can't tell you what I wished for, I'm afraid. But when it comes true, I'll be able to tell you. I can tell you that my wish for last year came true, which was I wish to lose weight, so... That came true. I also wish to have the body of my dreams, and it kind of happened, I guess. I don't really mind my body, but it's not really the body of my dreams. I still need to, to shrink my boobs and gain some more hip stuff here. <laughs> anyway, so, um... <laughs> Yeah, so, so this with this antihistamine, it just it it just gives me sort of a little bit anxiety, but I can handle it better than I could do with the other one because I was younger back then. So now I'm older, I can actually, you know, handle it a bit better now, and I do feel overwhelmed, and I feel like I still have a lot to do and stuff. But I think I'm handling it better than before. When I say handling it, I don't mean I'm performing any better. I just mean I'm not going crazy or getting angry. I still can't handle shit physically I can't do anything right I'm still getting up late I'm still going to bed late I'm still failing to do the things that I I'm supposed to do and I get distracted very easily I end like I, at the moment right now I'm supposed to be playing with the dog which I am doing so yeah but I'm supposed to be out on the scooter right now because that's what I wanted to do and then I'm supposed to be um, cooking the dinner before because my mum wants to eat at seven o'clock because if she if it goes over eight o'clock she gets really bad breathing problems so I have to cook before seven because apparently seven is the the best time to eat um it's actually bad to eat any later than that so but my mum is like really obsessively making me cook and and we eat before eight o'clock at the moment it's really imperative that that we eat so anyway, so I'm not doing that at the moment. I'm supposed to be doing that. It's about six o'clock now. Um, and I keep thinking, yes, I will do the things I need to do. I will focus, blah, blah, But then I just don't. As you can see, I just can't do it. I don't know why. So I'm having to rush through this because I'm going to get in trouble now if I don't do it for seven o'clock. Or at the very least, 7.30. So anyway... And I've got like a, a ton of things to say to you guys right now and so little time to do it in that I'm just rushing through it all. And I'd rather just be detailed with every little subject for you guys. So I'm going to focus now and I'm going to tell you the story from the beginning. Okay. So the first time I took tablets, as you guys know, was breast reduction pills when I was 16. They gave me the exact same reaction as all the antihistamines have super happy loads of ideas flooding my head and then a little bit of overwhelmness and then finally I get angry because I can't do all the things I want to do and then when I stop taking them I become depressed that's the worst one I would rather be on them and be excited and energetic and have all these ideas flooding my head than be depressed because when you're depressed you're not interested in fecking anything like even my my most favorite thing to do which was shopping buying stuff i lost interest in that and one with the 
at the first antihistamine I had, I lost my appetite, so I even wasn't interested in food. But that was after I stopped taking them. So I definitely don't want that one. <laughs> that was called hydroxazine. I know for definite the first one I had was called hydroxazine. Do not take that one. That is the one... Wait a minute, that's the one that made me really efficient and my brain worked properly. And I remembered stuff when I was on that one. But then when you stop taking it, you become depressed. So just, if you want to use that one, just never stop taking it. Or, you can stop taking it, but instead of going cold turkey, just like with any drug, you have to gradually stop taking it. Wean yourself off of it first. Don't just go cold turkey like I did. I think that was the mistake I made. So now I'm on this antihistamine, I'm not going to go cold turkey and just stop. I'm going to wean myself off of it. Well, I have to anyway, because I have to find out, you know, if my allergies are going to be better anyway, when the, the pollen count is low, because at the moment it's very high. So, um, well, it's high. I think it's grass that's high at the moment. I seem to be worse with grass pollen. As you can see, look at the fecky grass. It's like this tall. Mm -hmm. Nearly. <laughs> Some of it is. Some of it isn't. Is that grass over there? It's like baby's breath. I don't know what that... It's not baby's breath, but I don't know what it is. It's like these little... Feel like oats and wheat. <laughs> I like how the dog was just stood there before and he's like looking straight at the camera, it was so cute. Anyway, so I stopped taking the breast reduction tablets because my eczema flared up real bad when I was on them, so I stopped taking them. When I stopped taking them, I had an immediate reaction of feeling depressed. But I got it in bouts. It was sometimes when I felt okay and happy and upbeat, but then it was like... It actually feels like your heart is like sunken. It's weird. That's how I know it's depression and not just normal sadness. Because when you're sad, it's just all in the brain. But when you're depressed, it's like you can feel it right here and here. It's like a punch in the gut and like someone's just pulling your heart down. It's, it's really bad. It's really bad. I hate it. Even talking about it, I can feel it just talking about it. So I remember what it feels like, so let's not talk about that. So, um... Oh, hello! You're looking at me all cute! Do you want to go in too? Oh, he's so cute looking at me there. Who's over there? You couldn't see him very well. If I press that button there, I could take a picture. But I'm not going to. <laughs> Silly doggy. So, um, yeah, so that's what happened with that. But that, that didn't take a while, that didn't take a very long for it to pass. I think just a couple of days, a few days. Um, and then with the antihistamine, the first one, hydroxazine, I can't remember how long I was on it. I think it was between October and December, and I stopped taking it in December. And then I got depressed in April. And that lasted April, uh, May, and then by June, luckily, I, I got out of it in time for my birthday, so that was good. And then, uh, yeah, I was fine after that. Um, but then I, I took another, a different one, like a year later, and I told the doctor all about my reaction with the hydroxazine. And he gave me a different one that said it wouldn't mess with my hormones. It wouldn't give me a hormone imbalance because I, I did my research and I realised it was most likely a hormone imbalance. Probably it, it, it causes your serotonin levels to drop and stuff like that. So, and the other one, what's the other one called? The other happy uh, pheromone. Maybe one's a pheromone and one's a hormone. I'm not really sure which it is. I don't really know. It was a, there's another one anyway. Um, endorphins. So one of them is a pheromone probably and another one's a hormone but I'm not really sure which one's which or if that's really true. I, it's just a theory because there's like, there's, a, there's about three happy hormone names. So serotonin and the other one. Endorphins. I think that I really don't know which one's which, so I can't really say. You'll have to look that up. I will be probably looking that up later. Um, 
so uh so I asked him I told him about that and he said that the, these other ones wouldn't mess with my hormones or pheromones or whatever my brain chemistry my body chemistry so I took a chance and took these other ha antihistamines that I do not know the name of I don't know what these were called but I got the exact same thing after a few months I became depressed again and that lasted the whole summer so yeah so this time around I was a bit iffy but I, I talked to the doctor about it and I knew he was going to suggest antihistamines because I was calling about my face being really bad worse than usual even on the steroid cream around here and my and here um, and he, get, he recommended the very <coughs> the weaker steroid cream the less drastic one for my face and a nasal spray because he didn't want to risk me on antihistamines but I had I had a the syrup already that I bought a year ago or a few months ago and I decided to start taking that myself my mum actually insisted that I took it because I was suffering so badly with sneezing itching every time I ate all this went really itchy and my eyes would get itchy so my mum said just take the syrup I know that if I was in your position I was really suffering like you are doing I wouldn't care about the consequences I would just take if I had something in handy I would just take it no matter what it was if it was something for allergies so I said you know what you're right mum I got it it's called Boots Children's <laughs> Allergy Syrup and it's like a little syringe that you it's not actually a needle by the way which I thought at first it was going to be a needle so you don't have to inject it yourself it's just like a syringe that you just do that and it just releases the liquid inside of your mouth <laughs> so yeah that's what also happens when you get the ear cleaning method as well it's a syringe but it's not a needle like I thought it was it just injects the water inside of your ear and injects the syrup inside of your mouth It does. it's not a needle so if you guys are like me and if you guys like me and thought it was a needle, no it's not, don't worry, <laughs> you have to take it, so, um, but yeah, the, the antihistamine is called a certain thing, it's actually called, a, you know, it's got a scientific name, so it's not just called children's anti-allergy syrup, it does actually have a name like Sertazine or something like that, Sertazine, but I don't know what it's called because I forgot to read the box, but like I say on that, I do have a little tiny bit of uh, paranoia a little bit of anxiety I feel drowsy I feel very calm and happy to just sit around and just do my own thing and just do whatever like dead casual but when I'm like you know have to do things that require more energy I do get I do feel a bit more erratic and I do feel a little bit more <coughs> you know I get paranoid and I get stressed and I get upset easily but it's not like intense though I, I just get like a mild frustration a mild irritation a mild annoyance just because my body just really wants to just go and I'm having to do stuff and I'm like fumbling around trying to do things like make a cup of tea or cook or whatever and I'm knocking things over and, and it just gets really irritating and angry and annoying but I don't like before when I was on the other one on the tablets the hydroxazine and stuff I was like throwing stuff and smashing stuff and you know I was like Rrr, I became the Hulk I was like <coughs> I was like all screaming the house down and just throwing things out it was just such an intense rage and anger I and the cat the cat was like constantly mithering both me and my mum all the time especially me at this point and I got really angry with him and it's like, I don't want to get angry with him. I don't want to get angry with a dog. I don't want to get angry with, like, anybody or, or, or harm myself or harm the animals or harm my mum or anyone else or, like, the plates and the cups and stuff. I, <laughs> I didn't like this at all, so. But it's probably having the same reaction. I'm getting the same reaction again, but this time I think it's either milder because it's a child's one, a syrup, or... It's because I'm older and I can handle it more now, and I can handle the anger, and I can ha and I can just. I felt myself get really angry like a week ago when something happened. My mom got really angry at me, and I was like. <coughs> but when she left, instead of 
Because I, I really wanted to just throw things and get angry again. Urgh, scream and shout and ball. But I said, you know what? Just stay calm. <coughs> just let it go. <coughs> I need a drink. Time to go. <coughs> I'm joking. JD! Where are you? Come on, stop wandering off. Come on, get the ball. Get the ball. <coughs> I might just be able to handle it a bit better now than I did back then because I was younger. You know, I've had a birthday, so I'm really old now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I might be able to handle it a bit better now that I'm older. I think if I was younger I wouldn't be able to handle it as much as I can now but so I think it's okay but if I was to stop taking the medicine I would just wean off of it I wouldn't just stop taking it and that's it or I would stop taking it and see what happened and if I started to feel myself become depressed I might take it again or I might try caffeine and just see what happens My advice to you guys is, I mean, maybe it doesn't affect everybody like this, but it, all tablets seem to affect me with depression if I stop taking them. And they affect me the same way when I'm on them. Which is, like I say, the flood of ideas. And I think it's because of the ones that have caffeine in them, but this one doesn't have caffeine. It has something that makes you more drowsy, but it's still having the same effect on me. But instead of energy... I'm just getting the ideas and the sort of enlightened state of mind. It's under there. Right, well, it's 21 minutes long now. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm finished. Um, I'm trying to think. Mm, is there anything else I have to say about that? Oh, God. Oh, well, if I think of anything else, I will make another video. See you guys for now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to help my channel grow. I really like to see this channel become successful.